On July 30th, 1975, Teamsters leader James R. Hoffa was last seen outside a suburban Detroit restaurant. He has not been seen since, and as of July 30th, 1982, has been presumed dead. Ever since, speculation about what happened to the fiery 62-year-old union leader has run wild. Rumors about who killed him and why have abounded, as have a plethora of places his body is alleged to have been hidden or disposed of. Is he buried under the giant stadium at the Meadowlands, or under tons of concrete at a Detroit building site? Eaten up by acid, sunk in the ocean or Lake Huron? If anyone knows, no proof has been found yet. Rumors of Hoffa's involvement with the assassination of John and Bobby Kennedy just will not go away, and rumors of the Kennedy family having something to do with Hoffa's disappearance will not disappear either. More likely scenarios involve the Mafia making Hoffa disappear, or his Teamsters rivals that were enjoying running things while Hoffa was in jail. Hoffa had gone to the Marcus Red Fox restaurant that day, allegedly to meet with two mob bosses, which of course points the finger at them. In 2001, DNA evidence taken from the car owned by Hoffa's buddy, Chucky O'Brien, seemed to indicate Hoffa had been in that car, which was denied by O'Brien. The FBI and law enforcement theories center on the mob having Hoffa killed to keep Hoffa from retaking control of the Teamsters, since in his absence, the mob had taken control of the union and the pension fund. A self-described hitman, Richard Kuklinski, has claimed to have murdered Hoffa, burned his body in a drum, put the drum in a car, and had the car compacted into a small block, then shipped to Japan to be melted into scrap metal. Other reports of alleged burial sites have been investigated, and no trace of Hoffa's body has been found. In a cracked historical twist worthy of the Hoffa name, Hoffa's son, James P. Hoffa, became Teamsters president in 1999 and has held the job since. Another unlikely development is that Hoffa's daughter had become a judge since retired and an associate attorney general for Missouri also since retired. In any case, the disappearance of James Riddle Hoffa, ex-Teamsters boss and convicted racketeer, has joined the ranks of the great conspiracy theories game. Speculation about who killed him and where the body ended up continues to fascinate conspiracy buffs and probably will until someday when maybe his body is finally found. As a question for my students and subscribers, is Jimmy Hoffa playing cards with Amelia Earhart and D.B. Cooper somewhere? Will his body ever be found? Or will we ever find out what really happened to him? Did aliens get him? People somewhere probably think so. Tell us what your theories are and why in the comment section below this video. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated. Mm -hmm.